Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to attempt to create a kind of a basic button for our controller. So you can kind of see, I've been practicing with a few here, so you can design your button however you want, but I'm going to show you maybe the basic way. So we're going to start with a new US standard template file. We're going to go to create. We're going to create a part. So I want to start a 2D sketch. I want to, I don't know what plane. Let's pick the XY plane this time. Um, normally I would create a circle. So yeah, there's our button. But what I want to do is I want to oh make a line. We need to draw a line here, just straight down. I'm gonna right click hit OK. I'm gonna change this line to a center line. I'm gonna use my coincident constraint. Select the midpoint of this line, which is that green dot, and select the origin dot. So we move that over. Now what I want to do is I want to draw a line from my center dot kind of out to the right, straight up. I'm going to right click, hit OK. I'm going to create an arc, maybe a three point arc. So one, two is going to be on the center line here somewhere. And three, we want to kind of bend it up a little bit. You don't want to bend it higher than this point and you don't want to make it lower than that point. So you want to kind of give it a slight kind of curve like so. And then we can add some dimensions on our button. So I'm going to dimension from the center, our center line to this vertical line. And then we want our button to be, I don't know, somewhere between like a half an inch and three eighths. I'm not sure what that is in millimeters, but let's just say, for example, I'm just going to put my diameter here is going to be um, 0.25. Oh, I, I take that back. It's dimensioning the whole thing. So this is going to be 0.5. And then our height here. This can be like point, point oh five. Mm, yeah, that looks good. And then I'm gonna dimension, oh, I need a line from here straight down. And then I can dimension the height of this line. Wait, 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 not that one. I wanna dimension from here to here. 0.75 is not bad. Maybe 0 0.08. 0 0.08. Oh, not negative 8. 0 0.08. See what that does. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Mm, yeah, so then I'm going to finish my sketch. I want to revolve this. Yeah, looks, looks like the Astrodome. I'm gonna hit okay here. I think what I wanna do is I wanna, I wanna go back into my sketch. So I'm gonna go into revolution. I'm gonna right click sketch, edit sketch. I wanna change the height of this thing. So let me make this 0 0.075. Some of our buttons gonna be kind of embedded into our controller. And then I'm gonna need to change the height of this. So this could be Maybe point one, maybe even a little higher, point one, two, five. Uh, yeah, okay, let's do that. Finish sketch. All right, that looks a little better. Now what I wanna do is I'm going to create a shell and I'm gonna look up underneath here. So, Thickness is 0.1. I'm not sure what that should be. Um, maybe change this to point, uh, 1 16th. I'm not sure this is going to work. That's too much. Um, 1 32nd. Yeah, 1 32nd. That looks good. And then I've removed the bottom face. 
hit OK here. And then I want to look back from the top and I want to make a fillet. And I'm not sure what this radius needs to be, but I'm going to select this top circle edge. Definitely not that much. So let's go 0.05. That looks good. 0 0.05, hit apply. And cancel out of this thingy. So there's our kind of button shape. So from here, I can add a, a color onto it. I'm going to yeah. I'm going to click where it says Autodesk Appearance Library. Usually I found those are the ones that has the most options in that folder. Scroll down here. What's latex? Nah, I don't want that. Although I did like that color. Let's go down to... Da -da -da -da. Sky dark. Sky blue dark. All right, I like it. All right, so there's that much. Now what we need to do is we need to add a, like a, a image, like a number, a letter, a symbol on top. We can extrude it out a little bit or emboss it to where it's kind of raised up off the, the top of our button. So to do that, I'm going to go to the origin. I need. I'm going to. I'm going to turn on this flat plane here, the visibility of it. And then I'm going to go to plane, offset from plane. I'm going to offset from this plane and kind of grab this arrow and just see if I can raise it up. It's not letting me. So let me see. I'm going to type in a distance of points. Um, I don't know. One quarter. No, not point one quarter. Point two five. That'll work. Anything above this top of your button is going to work. That may be too high, but we can make it work. So then I'm going to create a sketch on this plane that I made. And you can either put a, a number, a letter, like I said, let's do, I'm going to click on text. Click the center here. So here, if you want to add like a number, you can do that. But let's try to get fancy. I'm going to go to wingdings here, wingdings three. Maybe for the height, I want to have maybe 0.25. And then I think, let's see, if I type in a R, let's see if I type in an R, it gives me a triangle. So let's try that. Hit OK here. So then I can just hit OK here and just grab this triangle and move it. I want to move it to the center here. Somewhere like so, and then finish my sketch. All right, so now I want to emboss that triangle shape on top of my button, give it a little bit of a thickness. So I'm going to go up to emboss my profile. I'm going to select a triangle or whatever symbol or number or letter you got. Click that. I want to go, my depth is 0.002. I want to click the second option here. So I want, you see my arrow is pointing up. I want it to go down. I have the emboss from face selected. And then here I can select what color do I want the raised kind of surface to be. So if I want it to be the same color as my button, I leave it alone, but let's get real fancy. So let's make like a smooth black and then hit OK. Now if when I hit OK here, you can kind of see that my triangle is slapped on top of my button. And now I can get rid of these or turn the visibility of these work planes off. And you see that my, oops, you see that the uh, embossed shape is on top of my button. And it curves around with the button. Pretty cool, huh? So... Like I said, you can add numbers or letters or use the wing dings. You can create like there's circles and squares and triangles you can add. Oops. And you can do all kind of fancy stuff with that. So once you've got one button created, you can use that to create other buttons of the same size. You just need to change the color or the 
the, the symbol that you have on top. You can, you can have any variety of buttons that you want. So anyway, there's, make sure you save your, let's save this thing as maybe blue triangle button. Hit save. There you go. All right. Peace out.